So how does one play Math Jeopardy? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And we all know how Jeopardy works. We've seen it for years in front of our televisions. But how do you create a Math Jeopardy game so that folks could practice and learn math in a fun fashion? So we're going to go through the process as to how you might want to create your own Jeopardy game for math. So here we go. What you want to look for is at least five sets of those library book pockets for dollar values, you know, either for the 100 to 500 or 200 to 1,000, or as you know with the Jeopardy, they, you can even make larger dollar values. Now, with those library book pockets, those are the kind of pockets in the back of every library book that tells you that they stamp the due dates on, also tells you the title of what each library book is, who the author is, etc. But you want to have at least five sets of those for the various categories that you want to have. Typically, you have five categories or six categories, depending on how long you want each round to be. You can have a single Jeopardy, double Jeopardy, as well as final Jeopardy if you like. Now, what you want next is a poster board to fill out the various categories. Um, you, you want to think, think about using Velcro or two-sided tape so that you can switch out the categories at any time. You want to be sure that the categories are evenly spaced out so that everyone in the classroom can read the different clues and categories that are involved. Use large print as well. Use different, cat use different colors for each category. That way, things all the categories don't seem all mushed into one. Different colors will help separate each category. Now, because each category tends to have five different clues, as in the regular Jeopardy game, use five book pockets for each category. Again, sp you can space them out from 100 to 500, 200 to 1,000, etc. And finally, here's the hard part. Everything else up to this point has been pretty easy uh, labor stuff, but the hardest part is trying to create the various math problems for each category, um, depending on what kind of topics that you that you want to reinforce, just think about the different kinds of levels of difficulty for each answer, if you will, so they can give you the proper question as their answer. So once you have all those different math problems and for each category, you are ready to assemble the class and break them up into individuals or groups and start to play Math Jeopardy. So my name is Jimmy Chang, and that's how you play and set up Math Jeopardy.